Hey everyone, Darren here for the Music Vault. I'm doing a metal, or a uh, metal, well, yeah, a metal update. Um, some uh, charity shops and some record store purchases. I'm gonna, I, I've got a lot that I've bought in the last little while. Like my credit card is like freaking smoking and uh, my wife's gonna kill me. But, uh, so I, I'm gonna break them up. I'm gonna do my CDs first, which isn't a big stack, but my the vinyl is a pretty big stack. So I'm gonna break them up and uh, go from there. Anyways, I got these bunch here at at a. Uh, I don't know if you have them down the states. We have them up here called Value Village. They're like a charity shop. You can go in and buy stuff at like like Salvation Army or the thrift store or something like that. Anyways, uh, they sell CDs and records and tapes and videos and stuff too. So I happened to go into this one in another city that I was in and uh, they had a lot of stuff, like a lot of good metal. So I, some stuff I wanted, some stuff I didn't, I already had and some stuff I didn't care for. But I picked this up, Iced Earth. Um, I think they were a buck ninety nine uh, for the CDs, double CD, and this one is um, the Blessed and the Damned. I had never seen it, so I think it's uh, uh, like a compilation, but it's a double CD set. I figured, what the heck, I'm gonna pick it up. This one, I'm a, I like like everybody. We like Led Zeppelin, so I picked this up. Um, get the glare off. Yeah, this was like four bucks. So it's a a blues. Let me pick some of the names off there. Um, yeah, it's like a bluesy. I haven't listened to it yet, but it's like a bluesy Led Zeppelin tribute. It's got. Uh, Custard Pie, hold on, I'm Half Blind Heartbreaker, Can't Quit You, Babe, Baby, uh, When the Levee Breaks, When the Levee Breaks, Part 2, Hey Hey, Rock and Roll, You Need Love, blah blah blah, you know. This one, I picked it up solely on the, the label, and it's on Black Mark. Productions, which was a Swedish, they're not around, it's not in, uh, they're not, it's defunct now, but they're, um, they had stuff like, uh, Bathory, all the early Bathory stuff came out on Blackmark, and if I remember correctly, Blackmark was owned by Quarthon, who was Bathory, his dad owned, um, Black Mark Studios or Black Mark Productions. Anyways, this is Lake of Tears, uh, the crimson, the, a crimson cosmos, and it's kind of like uh, this album. Anyways, kind of like a, like a gothic metal kind of hard rock metal kind of album. Um, it's pretty good. It's nothing that I would probably listen to on a regular basis. A uh, couple of spins here and there whenever you're in the mood or, you know, I don't really even know. I think I paid two bucks for it or something like that. This I was totally stoked to find. Um, I was like, because I'm building my Blind Guardian collection and I was totally stoked to find it. And that is a twist of a myth. Um, yeah. This was in perfect condition, almost like brand new. The guy bought it, brought it in, didn't want it. Listened to it once, probably. It's in perfect condition. But yeah, my Blind Guardian collection is ever growing, like to the point where I think I got almost everything. <sighs> These ones are uh, collection fillers. I didn't have this album, which I have Discogs on my phone, so I can go on Discogs when I'm out 
and I can just hit my collection and type in a band name and if it comes up I can see what I've got and what I don't have and I didn't have that Zeppelin 3 which I'm actually quite surprised because I always thought I always had I know I have it on vinyl like I have everything of Zeppelin on vinyl and pretty much on CD and then the like how the West was won and stuff like that and then various pieces I find from Zeppelin so and then I got Zeppelin 4 and I didn't think I had this one either but I I have it but it's a different copy different version um, I should have grabbed it before I did the video but whatever it's a completely different version it, the CD is the the green and orange yeah the CD that I have is that one and this one is the is that pressing which it's a Canadian pressing as well I don't know that could be a Canadian pressing too I don't know it doesn't matter so those were all my charity shop finds now these ones are my purchases from yesterday when I went out with my daughter uh, I have this on vinyl. I never had it on CD. I don't know why. Queensryche, The Warning. And this is the remastered with three bonus tracks. The Prophecy, The Lady Wore Black Live, and of course they put it so like you can't read it. Take Hold of the Flame, live. Uh, up next, I knew nothing about this, so I just purchased it anyways. And I think, the, come to find out, I think it's a live album. And that is Voivod, Warriors of the Ice. I got it because it's got like all their older stuff, like Ripping Headaches, Ravenous Medicine, Tribal Convictions. Um, but I think this is a live album. Because it's got Astronomy to Mine with those other three. And they were never on the same album. If I remember correctly, the Astronomy to Mine was on Nothing Face. This is a complete um, uh, what you call it filler uh, for the bands. I didn't have this on CD. I have it on vinyl. But I didn't have it on CD. It was cheap too. It was twelve bucks. I figured, you know, collection filler. That's what I was looking for. And same with this. I didn't have this. Eh. But these are all the Night Rage demos from 2000. I never had this on CD. I never even heard of it. I have a couple of Night Rage albums. They're really good. Um, Swedish, Swedish Death Thrash. Um, although the guy, two guys, Gus G's on this. And Mario, Mario's whatever. I can't pronounce his name because he's Greek. I think, so I would say this is more Greek than it is Swedish, but it's got a Swedish death metal sound. Anyways, that's my CD collection update. I'm going to do my vinyl. I'm going to upload this and then I'm going to do my vinyl because I have quite a bit. Um, I'll probably do a different angle just to throw caution to the wind. Anyway, because you guys have a good day. I'll see you next video. Cheers, buds.